Hi, this is Angelina Asante. Welcome to this episode of Southwest Florida Online News. Today, I'm interviewing former MLB star Chico Walker. Thanks for meeting me here, Chico. It just happened to be a weird thing that I know your wife, and then she was starting to talk about you, and I said, wait, 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 wait. So this is a storied baseball family because her first game at Red Sox fantasy camp she winds up hitting this beautiful double and then when she gets back in the dugout I said oh wow you you must have played softball before she said no I've never played and I said how does that happen and then she said well my husband Chico and I said wait 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 wait, back this up a little bit so and you were actually at the game cheering her on and then she started talking about you and I said whoa I I have to meet this guy so can you talk a little bit about your past right so you know I'm originally from Chicago I met friends during um I have a nephew that a former Celtic player at a basketball camp in the Watham, Watham Mass. Yep. And France was there doing um, the basketball camp, and that's where I met friends. Oh, wow. I was 20, 22 years ago. And, you know, we made a connection. Um, and, you know, the rest is history in terms of the relationship. But in, in terms of uh, playing ball, she that she never played baseball before. She never picked up a bat before, before this year. And she talked to a couple ladies, I think, at, at uh, Polo Park. Right, the Woo Sox. The Woo Sox Park, and they talked her into, you know, come, in, come join the uh, fantasy camp. And she, she thought she would do it. And right after that, she just fell in love. She said, okay, I want to take hitting lessons. I want to do uh, pitching. I want to do everything. I go, wait a minute. Who's going to teach you all of this stuff? Not me. <laughs> so we end up uh, taking, she ended up taking hitting lessons from Dave Smith. Who's amazing. Right. He is amazing. Um, for whatever reason, she didn't want to take lessons from me, but she took uh, hitting lessons from Dave Smith. And um, by by her being so busy, well, she has a non nonprofit, and by her being so busy, she didn't. She couldn't find a lot of time to actually go and practice, and and we thought coming in, you know, she was going to have a lot of trouble, you know, just adjusting to the baseball side of it. And sure enough, like you said earlier, her first at bat she got a double, and <laughs> and after that, she thought she was going to be the next little gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, and. And like you know, I tell her all the time, you know, baseball, you know, it's a lot of work. You have to keep working. Right. You have to keep working at it, you know. And she had a couple of setbacks. I guess she hurt her wrist or finger or something. And uh, she got a ball and, ball and bruise on her thigh. But, but yeah, she she's really excited about it. And so far, she she's loved every minute of it. Well, she was a really good teammate. And every time I looked at her, she had a smile on her face. And it was so great to see you because a lot of the ladies don't have their husbands around here. They they had to leave. A lot, a lot of them inclement weather to come down here. So it was neat to see you. And what did that moment mean for you when you saw her get a double? It was really exciting. No, no, it was exciting for me as well. You know, I originally told her I wouldn't, I, I didn't want to come. You know, oh. I was just going to let her come on, 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 experience it by herself. And then finally... You know, Rich Gettman and I, you know, we came up through the minor league system and the Red Sox together, and, and I thought, okay, at least I'll get so, get to see some of the guys that I play with in the minor leagues, even in the big leagues. I said, okay, I changed my mind. I said, I'll go down with you and, you know, support you, you know. Um, hopefully they won't try to get me to coach and all this stuff. <laughs> and, and I'll just pay attention, to, you know, just to see how she does. And so far, so good. I was in the show field when she got that double. And he was like, who, who is this? You know, I love her working. Yeah, because I'm like, what's, a, what's all the, yeah, the, what's up with the Rickians? So she was had a great, a great week and you did too? No, you know, it, like you said, it, it's, I think three days before we came down, you know, the weather, the weather in Boston was decent. We're talking, you know, mid, mid to upper 40. And we went out to the park. You know, and I was doing a little soft toss with her, and and she was in the ball pretty good. I was, uh, I just hope this kid. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because it's totally different with people around. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that kind of got to her later on. You know, she got a little nervous. You know, it, always when you get your first hit. Yeah. You know, it, it comes in nerves for a minute, yeah. and then once you start, 
you know, getting all the, the applause and stuff, it wears off pretty quick. Yeah. Because my first big league hit was a home run. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh. Now, where, now, were you on the Mets? No, I was with the Red Sox. You are in the Red Sox? Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So then, can you kind of describe what were, so were you in Fenway? I was in Fenway, um, played the AAA season in Pawtucket, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. That's where the Red Sox AAA farm team was. Uh, a few guys got called up to the big leagues in September. And, you know, it's, it's called, you know, we go to big leagues for a cup of coffee, you know. Um, I think I was maybe 21 at the time. Um, my first couple of bats, I might have ground out and fly out. And then finally, I think it was my third or fourth at bat, I hit a home run. Wow. White field, white field bullpen. Oh my God, so what an iconic feel. And then you replaced who on that team? So fast forward, what, a couple years later, when Carl Yaskrimski retired, um, you know, it's some kind of trivial stuff. Um, It was pre prand He was going to go out to left field in the ninth inning, and they came to me and said, Chico, before the first pitch is thrown, you're going to go out and replace, you know, Yaz in left field. And sure enough, they warmed up, everything. So I jump out of the dugout and start, start um, jogging towards left field. And Yaz started, you know, running in. We stopped, shook hands, wow. and the fans just went, went, I mean, went crazy. Sure. Standing on base. And, you know, the story was, I said, see, I got a great ovation for my face. <laughs> well, um, that was all for me. Why? I haven't done anything. What year was the? 83. 83. Wow, 82 or 83. Now, can I ask you, like, in your mind, like, what is the sound like? Like, you, because a lot, a lot of the things, like, I can recall in my past, like, I, I remember, like, your your brain takes you back when you hear certain things. Mm-hmm. Like, what is it for you when you're in a ballpark and are you just transformed back to your days? You know, that's a good question because when I got here and JetBlue Park went to the backfields, it just totally took me back to my minor league days. I was going, wow. I remember, you know, these fields and going back and you go to field six, you go to field oh, wow. and you're taking ground ball. Taking batting practice, you know, it brought it brought back a lot of mem- memories. So, and I know, like looking at the coaches, like like nobody wants to leave the baseball life. Everybody loves this so much. So, can you talk about what you're doing now? Okay, like I said, I'm from Chicago. In 2000 to 2003, I was manager of a independent team right outside of Chicago. Um, you know, it's probably lower than a ball. It's the bottom on the bottom. And the bus rides got to. Oh. I mean, we're talking 14, 16 hour bus rides. Yeah. Oh. And I was like, I can't do this much longer. And I did it for three years. And I told, I want to do something different. So, you know, officially I re, you know, retired from baseball. And meet in France, you know, we get married 2007. And then I just started doing, you know, stuff with the Red Sox, you know, you know, going sign autographs. I go down to the Dual Sox, same thing. And I love playing in all the golf tournaments. Of course, well, if I go around the country playing, you know, playing golf tournament. What is France's career? France, she has a nonprofit in Roxbury, Mass. She took over maybe three years ago from Family Independent. Oh. And she's the CEO. Oh, we definitely need to talk to her on that. Can we wait? I'm really asking. I'm asking you because we're asking all everybody we're interviewing. What do they do? So yeah. I didn't want to miss the opportunity if we don't see her. But that's a, that sounds great. I'm all right, just to go, Jason, to um, home, um, homeless, homeless teenage, wow. and you know, give them a place to live with their child and oh you know that may be another that may be another subtle sort of online news story yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah. really awesome and I think about, too. yeah and when you yeah. think like and i i've lived in florida for 30 years i moved from mass 30 years ago mm-hmm. we have a homeless problem down here but it's still in the tropics you know so a homeless problem up there 
although it's very just as sad, you're talking about the, the deadly weather up there. It's, it's it's really bad. Yeah, I guess it's been going on for a long time. And I, I the last few years, I think that Michelle, they're trying to you know get him off the street and put him in some kind of dormitories. And, you know, but well, the thing is with. With the women here, when you're all in uniform and everybody's out in the fields, we all look the same. Right. But when you start f- asking, what do you do for right. you, you would be surprised. Cause at least we've know we've known you know, this for a couple of years. What s- certain people do for a, a career, but um, we never asked. You know, it was just in small talk. But for everyone to now be telling us what what a what an article that go yeah. and write it up. It's insane what people actually do. You'd never know. Yeah, but I want to thank you for being present here. Because it's so special as a player to have your spouse here yeah. witnessing your your great moments. And that was such a great moment for her. And I Pickles has a really important question to ask you. Oh, what is your favorite baseball movie? It sounds like Major League a little bit because remember the bus rides in that movie? Because they wouldn't we get a plane. It's, 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 that, is, that, is, that is crazy that you asked that question last night. After, you know, the banquet, go back to the room, flipping through the, the channels on TV, the Lou Gehrig story. Oh, wow. There you go. We, you know, I've never watched that movie. Never watched that I've movie. never watched it. It's, I'm guessing it's a tearjerker. Yeah, I guess it's a tearjerker. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, that's down. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Thank you for saying it's that. It's in black. I'll come over to your house. Yeah, no, that sounds good. Yeah, because I have not seen that. And we hear his name all the time, and why don't we know more about him? So that's that one. 16 years without missing a game. Wow. wow. That's unreal. Wow. And then, you know, Kelly can broke that right Yeah, yeah. Oop. Yeah. 16 years. Wow. How did that be? I, I, we were here, what, three days playing? And I don't think I could do enough. Love her today. My body says no. Yeah, but these guys are at peak four. Yeah, yeah. And they've also got the ball going in the proper lease. I'm not in peak four. I'm yeah. sorry. You got to find out this way. That's the best of New Gary. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, I just want to thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing your time with us. We we appreciate you. And like I said, I'm so glad you were here for free. It's, it, it meant so much to her. It meant a lot to the team because we love to see the guys coming out and supporting the women. And, you know, it's just normalizing women in baseball is something that I think that's the focus of the key up. And so you're just helping move that along. And, and thank you for sharing your, your thoughts worry about me. Yes. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully you'll be here next year. You'll be coaching. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think I'll make coach. Then <laughs> <laughs> I may not have a choice. <laughs> but that, that. Well, she must be having a problem. Well, let's, let's find out. Yeah. So this is, thank you for, for coming here, Chico. Oh, no this is Pickles and Angelina signing off for Southwest Florida Online News.